Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another lipstick roulette. So let's just jump straight into the video and the first lipstick I have is this one from MAC and this one is in the shade Honey Love. Honey Love is a really nice nude. Uh, it's more of a warmer nude uh, but it's kind of still very neutral. I would say that it leans very beige um, kind of on the browner side but if you compare it with for example Velvet Teddy this is way more beige than Velvet Teddy. I really really love this one. This is a really nice shade that kind of cancels out my lips without making me look dead. Uh, I do really really love this one. This is quite new to my collection. I haven't worn it that much but I can see myself wearing this tons when I'm wearing for example a smoky eye and I want something really nude on my lips. Uh, and yeah I'm definitely gonna keep this lipstick. And that is Honey Love swatched on my hand. The second lipstick I have is this one right here, which is from Chanel, and this is one of their Rouge Coco Shines in the shade Boy. I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I remember buying this because of Fleur de Force, because she talked about this lipstick and that she loved it so, so much. When I first picked this up, I thought it was too nude for me, because I have always been a girl who loves her bold lip. However, I have started leaning more towards nudes in the last year or so, and I definitely love this shade. This formula is amazing. I have a few lipsticks in this formula and I love them all. Uh, but like I said, this one was one that I didn't reach for very much. However, I have definitely loved wearing this over the last two weeks. Um, it doesn't get too much color payoff, which can be a good or a bad thing. I think that you can wear this for certain occasions and in those occasions this works so so well because it is a really nice formula. It is kind of in the same color family as Honey Love, but it is lighter and a tiny bit more pink I would say. This one is definitely another one that I want to keep. And that is Boy Swatched Out on my hand. The third lipstick I have is one from Smashbox and this is one of their Be Legendary lipsticks in the shade Fake. This one was one of the most perfect shades to pull at this time of year because it's an amazing fall color. I haven't worn it that much before playing around with it in this round but I definitely love wearing this. Um, again, it's a really nice formula. I have talked about this formula before. For example, in my hashtag uh, Relief Pan Collab, I pan one of these lipsticks as an underrated product because I feel like they are amazing and not that many people talk about this formula uh, but I love it so so much. I would say that we're still in the same color family. This one is definitely darker though but it's kind of in the same kind of rosy browny nude beige kind of family and I really love this shade. I think I do probably have some similar shades in my collection but this is still quite a unique shade and it is a glossy formula which I usually don't like in dark shades like this but since the formula is quite lightweight I really love it and it doesn't really bother me that it doesn't dry down. This is a shade that I will probably pan in the future because it is a mini. Um, it is quite a lot of product in there though, but yeah, I, I have panned one of these before and I think this is one that I probably will pan in 2019. And that is the Smashbox lipstick on my hand. Let's move on to the next color, which is this one from YSL, and this one is one of their glossy stains in the shade 104. I've had a few of these lipsticks in my lipstick roulette before, um, and I do love them. However, this color, I'm not completely sure about. It is a nice color but when it comes to this formula I do prefer like a red color for some reason. I have worn this once over the last two weeks and I did enjoy it but I'm still not sure about it. But I do have some more shades in this formula and I kind of want to compare them and also compare this to other lipsticks and lip glosses in my collection. And uh, because of that reason this will be going in my maybe pile because I do want to compare it to other lipsticks and if I do have similar shades in different formulas uh, I will probably declutter this one because yeah I haven't reached for this that much. And that is the YSL glossy stain swatched out on my hand. And then we're on to the final lipstick from last round and it's the one that I'm wearing. It's another MAC lipstick and this one is in Heroin. This one again is quite a new lipstick in my collection and I have been loving this. Since it is new I haven't worn it that much before putting it into this uh, project but I loved it. I loved it. I loved wearing this shade. It's a really nice take on a vampy lip. Um, I feel like most of the time vampy lips lean more reddish but this one kind of gives the same feel. However, it is just a bit more unique. I have loved this. I love wearing this one. It's a really simple eye and, and then this on the lips. It gives a really cool like effortless look but it's still a bit different than for example wearing a red lipstick or something. I think this is the one that I've worn the most out of all of my lipstick from Lost Roulette. Uh, and I will definitely be keeping this one because I love this shade. And that is heroin swatched out on my hand. 
So those were lipsticks from last round. Uh, to sum up, I am keeping three of them, putting one in my maybe pile and putting one in my to pan pile. So let's move on to picking some new lipsticks. I actually moved them out of the box that I used to have because I am moving uh, and this is just easier to transport them. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick five new lipsticks. The first lipstick will be this one, which is one of my YSL uh, Rouge Velop Shines in the shade 14. And that is the first lipstick swatched out on my hand. The second lipstick will be this one, which is one of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the shade London. Very appropriate. And that is the second lipstick swatched on my hand. The third lipstick will be this one, which is another one of my MAC lipsticks in the shade Crosswires. And that is crosswire swatch on my hand, definitely keeping with the orangey theme. The fourth lipstick will be... This one, which is another one of my Matte X lipsticks from Colourpop, and this one is in the shade Poppin. And there we have Poppin, finally something different than the previous orangey nudes. And then the fifth and final lipstick will be... This one, which is from Berry M, and this one is one of their kind of color changing lipsticks. It's a green lipstick, but it kind of adjusts to pH levels, and it's um, it uses TMLP on the bottom. I don't know the exact name of this, but if I can find it out, I will leave it down below. And that is the final lipstick on my hand. I, like I said, it does adjust to your lips, so it doesn't really give that much uh, on the hand. But those will be the lipsticks for next round and next time I'm uploading this I will be living in London um, I'm not sure if I will be able to post this uh, on in two weeks like I'm supposed to. I will try to, I will try to find somewhere to film but if I can't you will know why it's late. But yeah, I, I really hope you're having an amazing day and if you haven't seen the rest of this playlist I will leave it up in the cards as always. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. And otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!